Hello, this is Pearl of Daldoc and this video is about major factors for choosing your eyebrow artist. Look through their portfolio to see if they're using actual photos of their clients and not grab stock photos from the internet. You would not want that. And also look for or ask for healed photos so you can see long term how the eyebrows or the color of the eyebrows have faded and shifted through time. Freshly done procedures do not represent the end result. So it's always best to ask for the healed photos and to go by that than just the photos of the brows immediately after the procedure. Another thing to ask is how long have they been doing eyebrows so you can gauge whether they're an experienced artist or just a beginner artist or a newbie artist fresh out of training. Does your artist have a fixed location or a shop or is she or he a traveling artist? With permanent makeup, it sometimes requires multiple stages before you can get the desired result, which is why accessibility is one of the major things to take in when you are choosing your eyebrow artist. It can be difficult to coordinate your schedule with an artist who is always traveling from one city to another. Do they offer consultations? A consultation is a good way for you to see if the artist's face is in line with yours. You can ask them to draw a shape for you, and then you can also discuss any concerns that you might have about the procedure as a way for you to gauge if the artist really knows what they're doing and if you two are a perfect match or a good match for each other. You might spend for a consultation fee, but this is such a small price to pay for you to know that you are in the right hands. Are they using sterilized and disposable equipment? The risk of acquiring bloodborne pathogens or bloodborne diseases, especially hepatitis and HIV, increase when your artist does not observe proper hygiene and sanitation. This involves the use of sterilized and disposable needles and also the proper disinfection of the workstation. Do they have the proper government and sanitary permits in place? Although this is not directly related to the brow procedure in itself, it's still a good thing to consider when choosing your artist so you know that they are not fly-by-night, that they would not potentially do a disappearing act on you the moment you need something fixed or remedied with your eyebrows. Should price be a factor? Of course, but it shouldn't come before any of the other things that were mentioned in this video. The price tag alone should not be the topmost priority for choosing your eyebrow artist. Keep in mind that repairs can cost way more than getting it done right the first time and can also take multiple sessions. Some cases are even far too damaged that we have to refer them out for laser removal with a skilled dermatologist before we can even move forward with any correction. To recap, we covered five major things to consider in choosing your brow artist in this video. First, skill and experience. Second, accessibility. Third, consultation. Fourth, sanitation. And fifth, legitimacy. Price should only be the sixth thing to consider when choosing your brow artist. There you go. If you found this video helpful, please share with your friends and also don't forget to like our page for more content and updates. Thank you for watching.